Welcome, how to calculate percent composition of a chemical formula. First, you will need to remember how to calculate molar mass. So remember to calculate molar mass, we list the atoms in the formula, how many of each atom, periodic table number, aka molar mass, multiply across sum. This is what we call the overall or the molar mass. To get percent composition, remember what a percent is, a percent is part over whole. So you'll take each of these two parts, for example, and divide by the whole. So I took the 22.99 divided by 58.44, I get that. Then I'm going to multiply that times 100. And then do the same thing for the next part. Another part over whole, 35.45 divided by 58.44, the whole, uh, times 100. And then I get my percentage. These should add up to be close to 100, so somewhere near 99.99 or 100.00 something, 01, 03, something like that. So it should be very, very close to 100 when you do that. That's your self-check. Another example would be um, this example here. Again, I listed how many I had of each. I have periodic, periodic table numbers here, so I got parts, and there's my whole. I'm going to take part over whole, part over whole times, get an answer times 100. Again, part over whole, part over whole times 100, get an answer times 100. That's how I get those percentages set up, nearly 100. A little bit more, another example here. Um, Again, I didn't figure out my molar mass. I'm going to take part over whole. So here's my first part over whole times 100, part over whole times 100, part over whole times 100, and you get the idea. Again, your percentages should add up to be 100%. Okay, example four, we have TC2 parentheses C4H406 parentheses 07. So we have two TCs, 28, 7 times 4 carbons, 28, 7 times 4 hydrogen, and 42, 7 times 6, look up their molar masses, get our subtotals and our grand total. And then we're going to take each of these, this is our molar mass, we're going to take each of the parts and divide by the whole. So here we have that, divide that, we get this times 100 gives us our percent. Uh, carbon, part over whole, times 100 gives us our percent. Um, hydrogen, part over whole, times 100 gives us our percent. And oxygen part over whole times 100 gives us our percent. These should add up to 100 or nearly 100. It should be 99.99, something like that, or 100.0 something, but very, very close to 100. Here we're going to ask what a percent of oxygen is in this compound. So you wouldn't have to do all these. You would just get your molar mass for the compound and then just do part over whole for the element specifically that's being requested. So this, if this question asks about percent of oxygen in this, then you would just do that piece. Similar here, what is the percent of hydrogen in um, TaOH parentheses 5? Um, again, you could, you'd have to still get the grand total, the, the, <clears throat> the uh, molar mass, and then you can take the part that represents the elements it's asking for, part, for, part over whole times 100 and get your percent. 